The Knights Templar, just who were they? They became a religious order during the time of the Crusade. The first nine knights were sent by Bernard of Clairvaux to Jerusalem, originally as bodyguards of the pilgrims travelling through the Holy Land to Jerusalem. This little film is shot at the Temple Manor in Rochester, one of the few remaining buildings built by the Templar order, whose own origins were back in Jerusalem. Jerusalem, the holy city where so many religions had their beginnings, where the ancient site of the Temple of Solomon is. It was to the ruins of this building of the ancient king that these nine knights of the Christian faith were sent by Bernard of Clairvaux. They made their way into the tunnels under the old city and the temple site itself. It was there that they discovered something. What is the big mystery? Just what was it that those knights discovered below the ruins of the ancient temple of Solomon? Whatever it was turned those nine knights into the order of the temple of Solomon and the founders of the order that was to become the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar history is full of mystery, but they were an order appointed by the Pope himself. They came back to Europe, a fabulously rich order, and with it there came a new architecture, what was to become known as the Gothic design. Many of their buildings are circular or octagonal. There are still many Templar design churches around in Europe to look at. The building in this film was a manor house close to the river and the sea, so it was an important part of the commerce going on. The Knights Templar was not just an order of knights, though. It had businessmen, farmers, boatmen, and more. But most of all, the Knights Templar had faith. The Knights Templar were recognised by the Red Cross they wore on the front piece of their clothes. The standard they bore was piebald, a black and white checkered piece. The enemy was the infidel that did not believe in Christ, which mainly consisted of the Muslim faith. Yet the Templars and the Islamic society seemed able to live together in the Holy Lands until one of their leaders would decide it was time for war again. As a religious military order, the Templars never surrendered. Death always before defeat. Richard the Lionheart took the crusade across to Europe to win back Jerusalem from the Muslims, who were then being led by the great Saladin. These two became known as great holy warriors as their armies fought each other for the holy lands. They were never to meet face to face. The legends continue about the Knights Templar. They're linked to the Holy Grail, to the odd rituals they supposedly performed, which included the obscure worship of a head. A French king, Philip, had the Templars arrested on heresy in 1307, and those that escaped arrest went underground or to sea. The Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, denied the accusations and was burnt at the stake outside Notre Dame. The Templar legend continues now, full of mystery, but today they are still known 